Say that again. If you know how to shut your door and talk or pray to the God in secret, everything you do outside the world will be a reward. So when you say he's a God who rewards them that diligently seek him, which comes first, the seeker. The seeker is our secret place. But you learn to be a lover of your seeking place. That is why I was saying recently, and I said, some people do not know how to abide in the presence. Because there's a lot of effort and, and strength, dark and demonic, that seeks to draw you away from that relationship that you so need. Let me tell you, let me tell you this. No man has notable results when they have not learned how to cultivate their secret place. It does not happen. Try it. You'll see that there is no man with results or reward in the world when they have not a very deliberate cultivation in the place, the secret place. We are all a result of what we do when we're not being seen. We're all a result of what we do when we're not being watched. And so it might confuse them who follow to watch you if you are deliberately a seeker of solitude. Because you're not doing to please them. And you're not praying so loud so they can hear you pray. But when you stand on that pulpit, the reward of a praying woman will be shown on your life. The reward of a seeker will be shown. And that's how you know the difference between grace and the law. The man which seeketh under the law has no love affair. It's not a place of enjoyment. It's a place of return. It's a place of, 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 of force. It's a, it's, it's a place of emphasis and strife. But a man which is invited by grace in this revelation, it's, not a, it's, it's, it's a place of rest. You'd get tired not praying than you would if you were praying. That's a man who has understood what it means to be carried by the Spirit of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. So I met this place about my second year of campus. Never understood it. Oh my goodness.